Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Bath & Body Works haul to share with you. I was shocked to see Bath & Body Works had so many new scents out, specifically one that is so exciting that I can't wait to get into in this video. If you keep up with Bath & Body Works, maybe you probably already know what that is, especially if you see the thumbnail and title of this video. But let's just say I'm really excited for a lot of these mists. The majority of these are just like all new mists. And then a couple that I have here are not really like new new mists, but they're new to me. So with all that being said, before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn your post notifications on and let's get started. So I bought quite a few mists. I keep telling myself I'm going to slow down at shopping at Bath & Body Works because I don't need a huge collection and then I still find myself going in there because lately they have some pretty exciting scents. So I think I'm going to start with my favorite and probably most exciting release that Bath & Body Works has ever done. So this is called Sweetheart Cheese. Cherry. Obviously, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm a sucker for cherry notes. And when I read the notes, I knew I had to have this. So this has notes of wild cherry, crushed pistachio, and whipped vanilla. So three of my favorite notes, especially right now, I've been so obsessed with pistachio notes. One of my favorite perfumes at the moment is K. Ali Yum Pistachio Gelato. I can't get enough of it. I'm just such a huge sucker for pistachio scents at the moment. So when I saw that this not only had the cherry that I loved, but it also had pistachio in it, and obviously to top it all off, whipped vanilla, which you know I always love vanilla. This just seemed like the perfect gourmandy, delicious pistachio cherry scent. And this is actually the scent that inspired this entire haul because I saw a couple people hauling this and talking about it. And as soon as I heard the notes, I was on my way to Bath & Body Works. So when I went there and I smelled the tester, I was like, please be good, please don't disappoint me. They really did their thing with this one. This smells so good and it smells exactly like the notes you can definitely smell the cherry in here but you definitely also get that crushed pistachio it has this sweet nutty vibe to it but then it's also really creamy and whipped and fluffy because of that vanilla every single one of the notes that are in here is so prominent in this fragrance i love this so much i am so tempted to go back to the store and get five more bottles of this because after trying this i think this is in my top honestly i would say five bath and body works mists of all time which is a bold statement i've tried and have a large collection of body mists and this has blown me away i'm gonna wait for a sale to buy a bunch more if you guys know the dates of any upcoming sales from bath and body works let me know in the comments because i have no idea when their sales start i don't know if people even know ahead of time or if they just like happen to do the sales and then people find out but if you know if they have any upcoming body mist sales or body care sales i don't keep up with bath and body works like that to know when their sales are anymore i honestly have no idea what goes on in that store so if you know anything about any upcoming sales where i can go and pick a bunch of these up let me know in the comments it honestly reminds me a little bit of sunset glow by bath and body works and they're definitely by no means repackages of one another like they do have distinct differences but there is a similarity within both of those. And I found that Sunset Glow reminded me a little bit of Cherosa 62, which is the OG Brazilian crush scent that we all love. This one, I feel like kind of has a little drop of that, which makes me love it even more because I'm so obsessed with that scent. But then the cherry and the pistachio, the whipped vanilla, I cannot get enough of this. Like, finally, they put out a scent that I am blown away by. Highly recommend Sweetheart's Cherry if you love cherry notes, if you love pistachio, if you love vanilla, if you love sweet, gourmandy, but not total food-like scents, still has, like, a sexy perfuminess about it, this is gonna be your scent. Okay, so nothing really can top that off, but I do have some other new and exciting mists. Let's get into this one because this had an entire stand of a whole bunch of products. They even have a perfume of this. So I think this is like one of their new like signature scents kind of thing. This is called Calypso Clementine and the packaging is really beautiful. This has notes of Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. At the store, I feel like I was a little bit more blown away than I am now coming home and trying this because I feel like there's this house cleaner vibe to this and 
It makes sense because it is a citrus scent and I find that a lot of the times, not all citrus scents, but a lot of citrus scents, if they are too citrusy, can come across as like, you know, house cleaner, like Windex or like floor cleaner, that kind of scent, which is not bad. But like, I would love for my room to smell that way, not necessarily for me to smell that way. And this one, the more I smell it, the more I get that house cleaner vibe. I'm not sure if there was a candle of this. There probably was because they had a variety of products in this scent. Like I said, they also have a perfume of this that I saw there. So I think if they had a candle, I think I would love the candle version because I just see this scent much more as a room smell good, even car smell good type of scent, not necessarily body mist vibes. Maybe it would be like out of a shower, just clean kind of scent. And maybe this would actually be really nice paired up with other citrusy, more woody, more perfumey scents to kind of take away from like the harsh house cleaner that I'm smelling in here. This one right now is just a little, I don't know. It reminds me of a perfume I had so much and I'm actually so mad because, oh my God, I just got it. Wait, I just got what this body mist smells like and now I feel bad because now I want to take back all the bad things that I just said about this because this reminds me of a really, really big favorite perfume of mine, which is Calvin Klein Into You. Now that this has dried down, that reminds me so much of Calvin Klein Into You. They're like almost dupes. I think this would be such a perfect layering combo. And I think the fact that I just realized that it smells like that now makes me kind of like this because I love that perfume. Now the thing with that perfume is it doesn't have that house cleanery kind of scent. This one, I think now that it's dried down, that it's reminding me of that perfume, I don't think it smells as house cleanery uh, and crisp than it did in the beginning. So I think if anything, when this first sprays out, it has that scent because it's just so vibrant. And honestly, that nectarine in here is so realistic. If you're into citrusy scents, you'd probably really love this. But then it has this creaminess about it, like a depth to it as it dries down. And that I think is what it reminds me of Kelvin Klein Into You, which is a huge favorite of mine. So honestly, now that I just made that connection, I kind of like this and I'm gonna be pairing it a lot with that perfume. I'm gonna start pairing it with that and see how I like it and then I'll probably include it in like a layering video if it ends up becoming a favorite because I think that's how I'm gonna be able to really save that scent. Then I wanted to talk about this collection because I went over and it was this like really fresh, beachy, coastally watery, aquatic kind of scent. There was two scents in this collection. The first one was Sea Salt Coast and then the second one in the collection was Water Lily Springs. I smelled both and I ended up going for Sea Salt Coast because the Water Lily Springs was just a little too like fresh and honestly kind of boring for my vibe. If you're into fresh scents though, go ahead and smell both because I'm sure you'd like them but I ended up going for this because I actually really like this one. I'm somebody that likes fresher scents if they have a lot of personality to them and I love woodiness in my fresh scents because I just feel like they add this sexiness. And this one has salty air, water lotus, and sandalwood shores. So this is very fresh. It smells like a beachfront. It smells so beachy, but then it has this woody sexiness it kind of reminds me honestly of like an abercrombie type of scent like walking into an abercrombie or hollister store honestly this smells really really expensive like this is giving me joe malone vibes like this is definitely a scent that joe malone would put out i think that sandalwood shores is really what's saving this because other than that this would just be like a fresh scent and it's nice but the sandalwood shores gives us this depth and just like this almost like intoxicating vibe it makes this really really perfumey and this honestly smells so much more high-end then obviously what it is. I mean, it's a body spray, but it smells like high-end perfume vibes. So I'm actually really liking that one. I think that will be a really great layering scent. I think that just off the top of my head right now, mixed with MAC Turquatic, ooh, that would be an amazing combo. So I'm definitely gonna put that to the test. Okay, now to the last two scents, let me get out another new mist. This one is new. It's been out for like a little bit, but I didn't get it at first because I'm like, oh, another beachy scent. But then when I was in Bath and Body Works to pick up these, I went over and smelled it and I was like, I have to get this. Not only because 
it's a really nice beachy sexy kind of scent it's called meet me in miami and the packaging of it more than anything it has these like pink yellow and then the palm leaves all over it i'm obsessed with this packaging and like meet me in miami i'm very close to miami so i felt like this was calling my name. I had to get it. But obviously, if it had smelled bad, I wouldn't have gotten it. And it definitely does not smell bad. This smells really, really good. And I thought I didn't need another beachy scent. But after having this, I think I needed another beachy scent. This one has notes of breezy palm trees, cabana coladas, and suntan days. Those are the most summery notes I've ever heard. This smells really good. Definitely smells like sunscreen. So if you're not into that sunscreen kind of vibe probably wouldn't like this but i really like it it definitely smells like sunscreen but it's like sexy coconutty oh my god such good sunscreen very expensive luxe sexy smelling sunscreen if anything oh this is so good i have a lot of these like beachy sunscreening kind of scents honestly in my collection which i actually really like but this one i think is bringing something new there's something about this like this heavy creaminess oh my god i need this in a perfume i really really like this i'm so glad that i went on this bath and body works little trip to pick up those other scents because i probably wouldn't have gotten this otherwise i would have just like wrote it off as just like another boring beachy scent without even smelling it so now smelling it that is such a good one and i have the perfect layering combo with that i have a cruise coming up very very soon and that body mist mixed with miami glow by jlo it's game over that is the sexiest beach goddess kind of vibe combo if i've ever smelled one that is gonna be so good i haven't even paired them together yet but i already know i just know it's gonna be a fire combo and then the last body mist is honestly a very very old classic that's been out forever but i saw that they still had their sas like just a little tiny little section of some 75 percent off mist i guess just like leftovers from their sale which is now over by the way i did not participate in the sas this year i just feel like the last few sas's i haven't really been impressed by so i didn't even bother going i was just over it um but i did see that they had these couple scents and when i saw carried away on there i was like i've always heard about this scent but i've never tried it and the colors were just so pretty it was giving me cotton candy and i always thought that carried away was more of a fresh scent but when i smelled it i was actually pleasantly surprised to see that this is actually a lot sweeter than i thought this scent was so i had to pick it up especially because it was like i think three dollars three or four dollars so it's really inexpensive this has notes of lush raspberries juicy pear nectar white jasmine and whipped vanilla they're really good notes that i like and this isn't really like a knocking my socks off kind of scent it's not blowing me away but it's really nice it's honestly like that standard bath and body works body spray vibe there's not really much uniqueness to this but i thought it was nice because it's fresh but it has a little bit of sweetness to it and it's also pretty floral at the same time and it just smells really feminine. So I feel like that would be a really nice lounging around, kind of chill, lazy day kind of scent, fresh out the shower. I think Carried Away is just a really pretty scent. Definitely not mind-blowing, but very pretty. And I'm honestly really glad to have it in my collection. All right, so that is it for this Bath & Body Works haul. This has to be one of my most exciting and best Bath & Body Works haul that I've done in a long time because a lot of these mists honestly surpassed even 10 out of 10 for me. This scent alone made this entire haul worth it and I have to go, I cannot wait until they have a sale, like a body mist sale or something because I have to get so much more of these. I did recently get some Bath & Body Works coupons. So if they have a sale and then with my coupons on top of that, I could get like five of these for not very much money at all. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. This, like I said, surpassed 10 out of 10. Another one surpassed 10 out of 10, Meet Me in Miami. This Calypso Clementine, definitely growing on me after making the connection to Kelvin Klein's Into You. And then this Sea Salt Coast, definitely gonna have to be wearing more and pairing it up with a lot of like perfumes that i think that will go great with and like i said this one was just like you know an okay pretty everyday kind of scent but these two these two are the best if you're into sweet scents get sweet's heart cherry if you want to smell like a beach goddess get meet me in miami that's all i gotta say anyways let me know what you guys have thought of these mists if you've picked up any of these new mists let me know in the comments which were your favorites and your not so favorites why did it just get so dark 
like the the sun just like went away. Okay, now it's coming back out. That is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn your post notifications on and I will see you in my next video. Bye.